Welcome to Nuclear Learning, an online initiative produced by the Stimson Center to facilitate the study of South Asia's nuclear trajectories. Our first open online course, Nuclear South Asia, is available free of charge at nuclearlearning.org. This video is part of a special series on deterrence and North Korea and features Jenny Town, a research analyst at the Stimson Center and managing editor and producer of 38 North. We discuss whether rational deterrence theory applies to the Korean context. So this question comes up a lot as, as to why does North Korea want nuclear weapons and you know, does it really have a deterrence um, focus? And I think there is still some debate on this issue as to why North Korea wants nuclear weapons. And I think there is very much a self-defense deterrence capability there um, where, you know, again, North Korea does believe if they have nuclear weapons, they're less likely to be attacked. Um, and especially, you know, given their political system, which is very um, unpopular and, you know, very highly criticized. However, there is uh, still one school of thought that believes that North Korea's nuclear program um, and their intentions is much more of a um, coercion capability, um, being able to you know, keep the United States, for instance, at bay if it were to try and attack South Korea or try and you know, reabsorb South Korea by force. And I think this is, you know, an active debate that still goes on because if you believe the coercion capabilities and the, the coercion um, motivation, um, then deterrence does, the, the normal deterrence theory um, does not apply. And so I think, you know, there, there isn't a clear consensus on this issue and certainly both are possible answers, but, you know, at the end of the day, there is um, a self-defense component to North Korea's nuclear weapons program because they have seen the fate of other countries um, and other regimes that have been unpopular um, by, you know, from the United States. 